making link icons in Figma. Let's go. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press Command P or Control P on Windows and type in my nudge amount. I'm gonna set my nudge amount to be 0.5 to make it a little bit easier to move the objects around. Next, let's delete that icon and delete this to start from scratch. I'm working with a frame that is 24 pixels by 24 pixels. Let's press the R key, draw out a rectangle. I'm gonna set this rectangle at a width of six and a height of 10.5. I'm gonna set the fill of that to be black and with that rectangle selected, I'm gonna press Shift X to swap the fill in the stroke. Next, I'm gonna come up here to the corner radius. I'm gonna set a value of six and I'm gonna make sure that my stroke is set to center. Now I'm gonna move this up with the keyboard arrows. I'm gonna move that up there. With this selected, what you want to do is press Command E or Control E on Windows and that is gonna flatten out the corner radius radii of the vector shape. I'm going to select this line segment, hold down the shift key, select this line segment, copy that. I'm going to exit out, paste, and I'm going to flip that vertically with shift V. So shift V, I'm going to flip that vertically, bring this down, and I'm going to set its width to a value of three. Move that with my keyboard keys to get it exactly right along that edge there. Next, I'm going to select them both, come up here to the Boolean operations and choose subtract selection. Next, I'm going to duplicate this half of the link that we have. I'm going to hold down the option key, alt key if you're on Windows, and just drag this down and then I'm going to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it and move it into position with my keyboard keys. That's looking pretty good. I can select both of these halves, come up here, choose choose union selection, and now they are one object. So if I pull up my layers panel, you can see that we have the union, and here we have the two different subtract objects that make up both parts of the link. Now I can select this and I can rotate it to get it at an angle. And there we go. We have our link icon. Experiment with different widths to get your own style links. That's all for today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And as always, happy designing.